Hey guys, Joshua Godamo here, and I'm doing a overview type of review <coughs> of the UC Cosmo fleet and uh, from 0079. Now, back when these first came out, I got a set of eight ships or something like that. And uh, those ships, you know, were really detailed. See, for Gun and Father of Peace, my stop motion animation series, you know, at some point we're going to be in space and even have a space scene. And so, you know, having ships was kind of a necessity. But model kit ships, one, are hard to find, and two, I actually bought some, and little boogers were. were hard. I'm not a big model kit person. I mean, they're kind of useful, but for stop motion animation, they're too brittle. And so, like, even when I was putting the model kits together, the cannons would break. Because they were just that brittle plastic, and it's like, oh, come on! And I was being as careful as I could. And I was like, if this thing falls off the shelf, I'm a goner. It's, it's just trash. And then the Cosmo Fleet came out. So, I shelled out, like, 120 bucks. Pre-ordered it. And, uh, they're very detailed, as you can see. This is a Chive. But... I've noticed something over time, and really I noticed it when they first came out. They said colors may vary. Well, this is the first release. And, uh, when I got the first release, it came with, like, eight or nine ships. Well, I haven't been able to find that release on eBay again. Just haven't been able to. Um, what I have been able to find is sets of five. <coughs> including the, uh... The Musai, the Papua, the Guazine, the Salamis, and the White Base. Oops, sorry, focus camera. I wanted this on super macro so you could see all the detail. But there's major differences between the first and the second releases. Um, look at this. Let's look just at the Musai. And I'm not completely reviewing these. Um, the Musai comes with Sharzaku too. Not Shars Gilgug like I have here. Just there for whatever. Comes with an option part to become Shars Musai, which is pretty cool. But this is the first release right here. Um, translucent little flooring thing. You can see the setup for the mobile suit and the holder. Now look at the second release or later release. It's black. It's got this little thing here, helps it. Same kind of hard as the other one, but the mobile suit holder is completely different, and it's on a ball joint, which is pretty sweet, I gotta say. I think I just blew up the bridge of said Musai. Give me a second. There we go. But there's some major differences in these Musai. So the first release Musai is more of a brown. As you can see, it actually has a number on it, S-402. Oh, come on, camera. Super macro for Pete's sake. There we go. It has the number up here, too. Uh, it has some light yellow there. And uh, some, some coloration there. Also, the shading is a bit more noticeable on the item as a whole. Whereas, you know, that kind of annoyed me because, like, wait, most eyes are supposed to be green. Ah! Well, the later release was green, but there's no numbers on it. Interesting. Um, not so much yellow on the vents and things. No yellow on the, uh, or not yellow, but whatever that, red, layish red. Also known as pink. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever color that is on the boosters, that's not there either. It's just solid green. And while there's some shading on this, the shading is a bit less noticeable. And so, I found this very interesting. I don't know if any of the other um, sets were like this. Somebody posed me the question, well, maybe you got a knockoff. I don't think so, because, one, these were just being pre-released. It said that colors may vary. Um, and the details are the exact same. They have the same copyright number on them and everything. Um, the design is exactly the same. Usually co copies or uh, knockoffs, there's always that less 
degree of quality. Plastic's the same. <coughs> now, Moosai wasn't so big of a deal, but the Papua was a big deal because the first release Papua came in this color, which you know, isn't a bad color, but Papua's are supposed to be this color, which when you're trying to make a stop motion animation series that looks like, you know, a legitimate side story, you want stuff to be the right color. Throw me nuts. I had to buy, that's the whole reason I had to buy the second set, was because the Papua was so way out there in color. The Guazine wasn't too bad. You can see the comparison there. The white base is, one's less white. But the Salamis was the same way. This was the V1 Salamis. I mean, that's not blue. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You know, there's some other downsides of the first release. You know, like the cannons are tan and things like that. But I could live with that. But the Salamis, that's not blue. That, that's not the right green. So, yeah, I bought a second set. I'm going to keep most of these ships because I actually like the differences. I like how there's a number 53 on here. I like the shading, and I even like the color, you know, to throw in there as a random, hey, look at this Papua. It's a little different. But, uh, you know, I obviously needed the legitimate, you know, correct colored one. Which doesn't really have the same amounts of shading. I noticed that. Also with the Guazine, this is the later release Guazine, looks very good. But then there's, you know, the first release Guazine, and you can see that this one has a lot more shading than this one. Um, not big differences, but this one has a Xeon symbol on the very front, and this one doesn't. It's just kind of interesting that while they got the colors right, they ditched the numbers. And not all of them had numbers, mind you, but, um, you know, they ditched the, the Xeon insignia, which was pretty nice little detail. Obviously, this is a better function right here than, than these that don't really move. And there's, uh, like I said, this way the wrong color. I mean, it could be a pirated one or, you know, something from Zeta, but... Jeez, ow, I mean, how wrong can you get the color? Seriously. But uh, I like the ships. I always like the detail on them. Uh, don't mind the little missing antenna. These have to be glued in, and uh, it wasn't... I glued them in, and they kind of just fell back out, so I have to glue them back in again. And you can see, this white base is white, like, wow. And this white base, not so white. You notice their windows are different colors. Uh, these are a different color. Um, the boosters quite often are different sets of blue. Most of the ships. That's kind of interesting. I'm probably going to sell one of the white bases because there's not that many white bases and it doesn't look like <coughs> you know, every Pegasus cruiser was unique in some way. Well, maybe I'll review all of these individually. My health has been not so good. And so my reviews have been a little bit less. Focus camera. And uh, I'm hoping to get, you know, the, the layer releases of these three. But just so you guys know, I am always looking for Cosmo Fleet ships from the One Year War through Zeta. And, uh... I would gladly trade for them, even if they're, you know, the weird first releases. Well, hope you enjoyed the preview review of all these cool ships. I do highly recommend them. But uh, make sure you get in the right release, otherwise you end up with just awful colors. Catch you guys later.